Hi, I'm Andrew Armstrong, and welcome to the back office Teardown Lab. Today, I have a new DC power supply that's here to replace the ones I have on my bench, which are probably at least two decades old each, one, maybe even three. So this is something you can get on Amazon. I'm going to just pop it out of the box <laughs> off camera because it's a little bit large. There we go. And it does have manual leads. Nice metal case, power. It's got everything you need. And there we are. I selected this one because it was reasonable and it supposedly has a 10 amp output, which I find it hard to believe. It's very light. It's a Uniroy DC power supply. So let's have a quick look. Let's crack the seals on this bad boy. Hey! Wow, look at that. Now that is definitely a switching power supply. Look, it looks like an inverter, like you've got on a welder these days. What I don't like about this, and I've really got used to, it's having power supplies that have a switchable output. So the reason you want one of those is that you can leave your equipment hooked on, but the output turned off, so that way you can turn it on, adjust the settings, then when you're ready, flick the switch to put power onto the output here. Otherwise, of course, you're relying entirely on what you left it set up before you turned it off, and I think that's dangerous. Your main's coming in, and it's going through this rectifier there and conditioning components and that's jumping across to this switch mode power supply section there and look at that look at that beefy guy that's some big beefy MOSFET type device and then it comes along to here and these are two resistors here so it's measuring the currents so this is part of the current measuring stuff here I believe and then there's your output right there where my finger is pointing and that's what just takes you straight to these connections on the front so it does seem like we should be able to interrupt those. And I have been looking through and I found something that was given me by Howard, Howard Taylor, uh, Dubious Engineering, and it's this snazzy switch. So I did have a quick check on the case and it does seem that there is room to put that switch behind there, right next to this other one. That looks kind of okay. But so there, it's just starting there. That'll be neat enough for me. That is a nice snug fit. It's just missing all the things it needs to miss. I'm going to need some better tools to get that out. Again, avoid touching any of the circuit boards. There are capacitors and stuff on there. They might have some charge in them. Best left untested, really. <laughs> just get that wire out. And that's going to be one side of our switch. It shouldn't matter which side at all of our switch that goes on. So that's nice and easy. Nice and simple. Now it's up to you, but you are mounting this switch next to the switch that runs the mains. So if you're anyway concerned about it, make sure you get some heat shrink over both of these ends. You definitely don't want any of that getting to your fingers. And as it turns out, <laughs> I'm actually using this as well. So it is insulated, but I've got some ring terminals here. I've got two sizes actually. I've got these little teeny ones, which I think are probably a bit better. It's a little, little fit in there. Let's do the other end. It's not too bad, is it? And it's actually New Year's Eve today. In just a few hours. It'll all be over. We'll all be able to go outside again. The moment of truth. Will it fit on the switch? Hopefully. I think we'll be okay. Just going to fish it through the front there. Come on. You know you want to go in there. That's looking pretty smart. Just going to add our little plate here and oh we did have a nut I'm curious on how this goes does that replace the nut if you use that I wonder hmm it's got a vibe of yes but it does have a gasket too I shall try that 
don't want to stretch the material too much and just being a bit ginger. Now the ultra fiddly bit of course of getting this output onto that bolt there. bit tricky but at least we got it started now that was a bit horrible I have to admit it's not much room you could just take the front plate off though if you need that little bit of extra room and get a good job on that and I do believe that is that so you've got it hooked there you can see it's coming around here to the switch and then it's coming from the switch back to the board and there's a nice air gap between all of that so the mains and this switch are pretty far apart anyway I think we're not going to have an issue with that so on off I think I'm going to test it though before I put the case on. See it's now powered on, you can power it on independently, it's in the off position, you can see it's set to 9 volts, so we can set the voltage, so we'll say we'll set it to 7, Think more or less, then we're going to turn it on, yes! Something you notice when you buy this of course is that it comes with two of these and these are crocodile clips connected to these sort of Y-shaped terminals, which I'm not really keen on. I do prefer the more banana connector terminals, but this is a very thick wire and I suspect that's the only terminal it would fit in unless they wanted to do something expensive or, or custom. So what I thought would be fun to do though, just because we do have it sitting on the bench, and it's a little bit of a test here, but I've got this piece of wire and I'm going to short the wire between those two. We've got this dot at the 11 o'clock position now, so as I twist it, so that's one turn, two turns, three turns, four turns, <laughs> five turns. So there's a five turn pot there. Ah. It is definitely capable of giving us a bit of an arc there. There you have it, a new bench power supply for a new year with my little modification. I'm going to be playing with this, it's going to probably feature in all upcoming videos in one way or another as I get used to it, but I'm going to report back in on this if it starts playing up or any features that I discover along the way. If you're interested in one, they are on Amazon, I got this for about £50, any links I have I'll put down below. If I don't speak to you before, Happy New Year!